Thank you, Father Jose Alvarez, for the opportunity to address uh, the parishioners of Epiphany Church. And uh, I'm grateful also to Archbishop Thomas Wenski for the possibility to make this mission appeal here within the Archdiocese of Miami. I am Peter Baldacchino, since July 2019, serving as Bishop of the Diocese of Las Cruces in southern New Mexico, bordering with Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, yes, a border state with parishes also serving immigrants. Formerly, I was five years here in Miami as Auxiliary Bishop, assisting Archbishop Thomas Wenski along with celebrating confirmations at parishes across South Florida and representing Archbishop at Archdiocesan events. You might recognize this face of mine. Perhaps I also confirmed some of your teenage sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters. So I have come from Southern New Mexico to appeal for your prayers and your financial help in support of nurturing vocations to the diocesan priesthood and to educate and form the seminarians. This part of the United States was first evangelized by the Franciscan missionaries. They established missions in the vast uncharted area, but there was little notice of this area for another 150 years. Only in 1730 did a bishop visit to provide the sacrament of confirmation to the early settlers of Las Cruces, who were then served by circuit-riding priests on mules. It took another 120 years before a diocese was established in New Mexico, that is now the Archdiocese of Santa Fe. Then, in 1982, the Diocese of Las Cruces was created from parts of the Archdiocese of Santa Fe to the north and the Diocese of El Paso, Texas, to the southeast. Today, my diocese comprises an area of 45,000 square miles, about 10 times the land size of the Archdiocese of Miami, but with only 10% the number of inhabitants. So the people are all over. Huh? Vast areas of desert, mountains, national forests, and even the White Sands Missile Range add to the challenges of the priests' ability to reach their parishioners, let alone to gather at the pastoral center for maintaining priestly fraternity. The mission of the diocese is to bring the message of the resurrection of Jesus Christ to the people, to open heaven for them in their day-to-day -day struggles of life. The diocese includes 46 parishes and nearly as many missions, and ministers primarily to a mixture of Hispanics, Anglos, and Native Americans. Yes, I do have uh, the mission for the Apache Indians uh, uh, on within the diocese. Due to its vast geographic area and very limited financial resources, New Mexico has one of the highest poverty rates in the United States. The Diocese of Las Cruces has been designated a mission diocese among the dioceses of the United States. Well, Catholic Charities writes the following about my diocese. A story, I'm quoting, a story to put poverty into perspective. Deming is 60 miles north of the U.S.-Mexico border, has about 15,000 people, two Catholic churches, Holy Family, and St. Anne's. Main things that happen in Deming are a lot of drugs, a lot of gangs, and a lot of people dying. I'm quoting here. 
The only industry to grow in Deming is funeral homes. Families cannot afford funerals, so Catholic charities tried to partner with families of both Catholic parishes to train young adults to make coffins to cut down on the funeral cost. Just imagine huh? young adults looking at the future, preparing coffins for their, uh, for their friends, you know? Hmm? The Mortician's Society did not like it and put a stop to it because it was cutting into their profits. No jobs, just despair and a ton of poverty. The reality is skyrocketing suicide rates, teenage pregnancies, opioid addictions, incarceration rates, grandparents raising grandchildren, and a lot of high school children that are homeless. Unquote. The Diocese of Las Cruces has only 48 priests to serve its 46 parishes and all the missions. Many are international priests, mostly from India and from Nigeria, serving for only a short time. Only 16, 1, 6, 16 of the priests serving in the diocese were ordained for or belonged to the diocese. The most sig significant obstacle to any effort to nurture and renew the faith life of the people of the Diocese of Las Cruces is the acute shortage of local vocations. While this Diocese of Las Cruces has financial and personnel challenges in abundance, its greatest challenge and most critical need is to increase the number of priests willing to permanently dedicate their lives to preach the gospel and serve the people of the local church and to open heaven for the people struggling with the day-to-day -day challenges of life. Without a much greater number of diocesan priests, especially as the few remaining religious Franciscans has been dwindling, it will be very difficult to support the people of God in their faith. The scarcity of priests with a single priest serving alone in almost every parish and the vast desert and mountain landscape creating long travel distances between most parishes. It takes me five hours to go to the furthermost uh, parish to the east and two hours to the furthermost to the west, seven hours across without uh, without uh, all this, the people are left without Mass and the sacraments. And the priest is away even for a brief family visit, for retreat, or even a brief rest. As many of the smaller towns enjoy only one parish and one parish priest. So today, I appeal for your prayers that God will send us men willing to dedicate their lives as priests for missionary service. Certainly, God always provides for his people. Our task is to assist candidates to hear God's call to priestly service and to be willing to be formed as priests. I believe we have much work to do, but I trust God is already calling forth men needed to serve. And I appeal for your financial support to educate the men chosen as seminarians throughout the years of formation and study. The diocese currently has four men in studies. Each needs six to eight years of study. Your help in contributing toward the tuition for these men being formed as priests is gratefully received. Even with scholarships, each seminarian, educational expenses are at least 44,000 a year for six to eight years each. Please know that your investment of prayer and treasure in the Diocese of Las Cruces will bear much fruit. 
Be assured of my prayers and the prayers of the seminarians that will benefit from the education you make possible, as well as the prayers of the people they will eventually serve as ordained priests. Know that your generosity is written in heaven in your favor. And of course, on a personal note, I am profoundly grateful for all you are able to do for my Diocese of Las Cruces. The Lord will never allow himself to be outdone in generosity. May God bless you and your families, and may he keep you healthy and safe. Thank you, and thanks also to Father Jose Alvarez, your pastor here at Epiphany Church. Thank you also, Archbishop Wensky, for allowing me to make this mission appeal for my Diocese of Las Cruces, my bride. That's why we bishops wear a ring. God bless you all.